what's up welcome back to my channel it's you here how are you doing it's friday haha <laughs> Finally, we're here for some weekends, huh? I hope you had a great and productive week. I did. And ready for some relaxing time and everything. In today's video, I'm gonna just do a quick re uh, getting ready with me. I love doing this kind of a video. It's relaxing. It gets me talk more, uh, you know, just getting closer to you guys. So yeah. And can you guess what kind of uh, eye palette I'm bringing you uh, to you guys today? Uh, guessing from the background, light and also so my crop top yes I'm gonna do a, a like a sapphire kind of a eye makeup today and the palette I'll be using is from Pamograph it's her mothership number one subliminal palette and if you are familiar with this you know there is a sapphire diamond shade in here that's just take everyone's breath away and that's definitely gonna be the center of our eye makeup today and I also want to do my eye makeup first today because uh, compared to you know normal makeup this kind of more intense you know colorful makeup you probably want to keep your uh, complexion clean so I would rather do my ma eye makeup first and then do other parts of my makeup so yeah let's first dive into this eye and I'm just gonna put on some eye primer first for my eye primer, I'm using this NARS Much Proof Primer and see it in action. So this NARS Much Proof Eye Primer is kind of like a sil silicone-y feeling and I cannot say I love it or not because maybe my eye skin is too dry and it gets to be, you know, flaky with some of the dead skin cells from my eyelids but today I guess my eye is okay so you don't see any dead skin cells after I put this on and I do you know let it uh, sink in and dry out before I do my makeup and I did curl my eyelash before even this eye makeup because I don't want to do it afterwards otherwise I think the topper shades uh, especially those uh, sparkly ones would really get transferred when you do your eyelash curling afterwards so I did it first and uh, let's put this first up I'm using this taupey brown to do my base shade ooh ooh that color is intense so I immediately switched my eye brush because I don't want to get too intense it's still my base color after all so as you can see this uh, taupey brown shade is actually kind of patchy this is classic you know earlier stage of Pamograph matte formulas the especially the darker shades they are quite dry and patchy um, and very pigmented so there's like no such thing as a second chance after your first um, stroke so probably need to watch for your placement of colors and also the, the amount of product you're using so now I'm dabbing on the lightest uh, matte which to me is again like a light taupey shade to transit out this color hopefully this would look more natural then I'm using the darkest black to draw the tip of the eye line first so I'm actually drawing on like a reversed cap liner following the fold line of my eye and do you see this little triangular shape I formed here? Yeah, because today I really want to make this look kind of smoky, catty, you know, so So now I'm using this sapphire shade. Um, the way I'm drawing this onto my lid is a little bit different. Um, I'm sticking to the lash roots first. Also the outer part. Now I'm lighting up my inner one half. First of all, I'm using the yellowish gold shade and to transit this yellow sh yellowish go uh, goat shade with this blue, I'm using the uh, white blue color 
uh, all of them are astral big jelly shades. So let's see. So in between the yellow shade and the sapphire, I'm pressing on the holographic blue-white shade. I'm swiping on this sapphire shade to my lower waterline to get that smoky effect. So now I think I'm going to stop here with all the colors and I'm going to go ahead and draw on the eyeliner. Uh, this uh, look does need some inner tight line and you know also a wind tip so I'm just gonna do that using the Victoria Beckham gel eyeliner all right so let me clean up my under eye area first and let's put on other parts of the makeup especially the complexion now foundation first This is the pink soap color from Lisa Eldridge. So this blush, uh, the pink soap from Lisa Eldridge is always that supernatural uh, flush of color that you probably uh, get when you're really healthy and glowing. And no matter how much you layer up, it's just gonna turn out to be really healthy and natural. Lipstick, I'm using Lisa Eldridge's uh, Velvet Foam which is a beigey, um, nude kind of that color. Last part, the brow. Let me talk, no more, nothing, and focus on this brow thing. So this is our finished makeup for today's Get Ready With Me. We used the uh, Mothership One Subliminal from Pat McGrath Labs and this is such a beautiful palette. Every time I use her palettes, especially the Mothership palettes, I know there's a certain vibe and you know that artistry from these color stories and these uh, themes and you just um, need to you know put your heart to experience that to uh, contemplate on her intentions so that you really get to understand the intentions behind each single mothership palette and for subliminal this one I really really get that it is this very mysterious yet very um, I don't know cool kind of a vibe um, I don't know if you get that from my eye makeup and this makeup is probably kind of smoky kind of you know in, intense or bold uh, if you're someone who prefers subtle looks you probably would wonder oh my god why is she still loving this look maybe to you it's somewhat you know uh, a fail but to me I think I really loved it and I, I know this kind of makeup would really be you know uh, showing its potential or you know a Advantage when you go out at night because it's such a sparkly shade and also the color itself like the sapphire the uh, smoky blacks and you know the yellow golds e at night it's just gonna shine as a diamond I'm just gonna quote Riri -ri -her here <laughs> Anyways, uh, I do hope you enjoyed today's uh, getting ready with me video. If so, please don't forget to give a thumbs up and also uh, consider subscribing to my channel today. I'd really love you guys to come on here and become regular guests and friends with me on my channel. So yeah, I hope you have a great weekend. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!